Right. So I wanted to start this speech with a couple questions. The first one is actually quite simple. It's uh, how many of you guys love money? All right. All right so my que my other question is how can we earn money without really stressing or, or breaking a sweat? I want you to keep that question in mind throughout the speech. I'm not gonna answer it now. You probably answer it yourself later. So my teacher back in high school, Mr. Scott Barber, he has a business, he has a major in business administration from the University of Long Beach. He told me that there's an 85% chance of us be, of not being successful, which it leaves us with the 15% chance of success. Just kind of scary, right? So as a business major myself, um, under marketing, interested in entrepreneurship, I kind of I can't I'm kind of in it for the money, kind of. <laughs> it's also it's it's partially interest and also you want to live life like financially stable. So those numbers are scary. So like I said, um, I've been interested in business for two years now, ever since I was a vice president of marketing back in high school for my virtual business class. And currently I'm taking uh, an accounting class which is teaching me how to calculate net income, uh, understand balance sheets and cash flow. So I guess you could say I'm pretty credible in this type of, um, in, this type, in this speech, a bit more credible than others. So I'm gonna be talking about what investing is why you should invest and the benefits of investing. Hopefully after my speech is done, you will, you, you will pay more attention into futurely investing in, 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 in futurely investing, and well, yeah, I hope I change your mind. All right, so let's begin with what investing is. According to an article on IP that was last updated in June, June of 2014, it said that it's the way of making money work for you. So you're doing absolutely nothing, but your money is pro progressively increasing. But there's other ways of investment. Like for example, we're investing right now. Besides the fact that we put money into college, to attend college, back in the day high school, well, back earlier these years, high school is absolutely free. We invested our time in order to get what? Knowledge. Knowledge profits us in the future. But what I'm here to talk about is the other type of invest investments, like investments in shit, um, stockholder, stockholder equity, um, st stocks obviously, financial schemes, property, and other stuff like that. So what is it that you need to learn to know about investing. There's a quote that Benjamin Franklin said, the best investment is in knowledge because you will profit the most. And what does that mean? Knowledge is actually one of the most important things, most important things because without understanding what to do or what to say, you will not understand how to, how to invest. You must understand the way the business flows. You must understand how to calculate net income. You have to realize that there's a lot of reading into this because you don't want to invest randomly without knowing the outcome of it. Because a company could do it could be doing really bad compared to the previous years, so you have to go into depth of how um, their total revenue has increased throughout the years. So moving on, why should we invest? There really is no reason for us not to invest. I mean, we have no problem spe spending money on things we really don't need. So how about we, we take that money that um, we're gonna spend on something we really don't need and invest it. Have you guys ever heard of the phrase, time is money? Yes. In this case, time is money. Because progressively, over the years, if you're investing at least $100, each year you will progressively increase it five times its, its, its value. So, um, Selena, uh, Selena Mar Marajan, a journalist of Brown University stated, she gave a, um, she, yeah, she gave it here, um, the $100 every year will progressively increase throughout the years. So we started at five years with $639. If you keep, if you're just uh, working your, your, your full-time job that you got out of career in college, and you leave your money flowing throughout the years, in 50 years, you have a total of $168,000. That makes you $168,000 richer. Hmm. All right, but you guys have to understand, like I said, it's all about knowledge. So you have to understand that there's low risk job, low risk, low risk investing and high risk invest investing. High risk investing is the fact that there's these stocks where you have to put a large amount of money, a couple of thousands in order to profit largely. But that's, that's the high risk. The low risk is if you have a couple of dollars laying around, you can invest into, into you can invest those dollars and progress, they will progressively increase with a very small amount. So we're gonna move on to the benefits of investing. Um, the, the benefit that I found quite beautiful is the fact that you really do not need a college degree. So like right now you're working your butt off in college, you're working really hard to get that degree. You could be investing in the background, earning money without you really doing anything. Another thing is that we're young right now, but as, in, as we get older, we're gonna go through many risks. And investing helps you work under pressure in the way of going through risks, because 
it's like uh, it's like uh, it's like gambling, but with a more assurance of winning. So you win some, you lose some. You never, you can never be so sure that if you win in this investment, you're gonna keep winning because things change. So you always have to be prepared for change. Another one is that it expands it expands your knowledge. Let's say you're a, a liter, um, uh, fine arts major. If you look into investments, you're gonna have to learn a lot about what revolves in the business. So you'll be a, um, a fine arts major, but have, a, have the knowledge of a business person. And finally, what I think is the most important benefit is like what I said, time is on your side. So right now you're young, and that's why I'm encouraging you guys to invest while you're young, because it's, it's gonna benefit you the most than investing when you're older. Because let's say you, you invest when you're 40. You're, you're gonna want the money 20 years later when you're like 60. But now that you're young, you, throughout the years, your money's gonna increase. So that's why I'm, 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 I'm trying to persuade for you to invest young because it'll make you the most profitable. And well, uh, I did talk about what investing was, why you should invest and the benefits of investing. Hopefully you guys got a little bit more knowledge of what investing really is. And I just wanna leave you guys with, hopefully you guys could answer what the first question was on what we could do to gain money without really breaking a sweat. And that is investing. Thank you.